It's a pleasure having you again, my friends. In this video, we're going to be looking at the solution to question 5A on the May 2012 CSEC math exam pass paper. Now, here they have stated, using a ruler, a pencil, and a pair of compasses, construct triangle PQR with PQ, line segment PQ, is equal to 8 centimeters. The angle PQR is equal to 60 degrees, and the angle QPR is equal to 45 degrees and that's an easy four marks and then in part two they're asking us to measure and state the length of RQ and that's another easy one mark okay now quickly let's get into this uh, first I'm going to pull up my ruler a bit okay so here I have my ruler now basically my friends what I'm gonna do I'm going to simply use my pencil to draw a line segment uh, quickly let me just get this to draw a line segment that is that represents PQ and the length of that should be 8. So I'm going to start at 0 and I'm going to go straight up to 8 cm. Okay, and if you notice, uh, my ruler is in centimeters. So let me just take this down. Now let's label our line segment. This is the line segment PQ. Okay, PQ. Now the next piece of information that I gave us the angle PQR must be equal to 60 degrees. Now, my friends, please note carefully for me, uh, the letter that is in the middle, okay, when you're asked to construct an angle, the letter that is in the middle, that is being sandwiched, that's where the angle should be constructed or drawn. So the 60 degree angle should be at the point Q. That's simply what that's saying. So now I'm going to quickly take my pair of compass and I'm going to place it at the point Q and basically guys you're going to open up your compass to a certain radius it doesn't matter how wide I could open it that wide or that wide okay it doesn't really matter just I, all, I've always instructed my candidates just open it up to a radius that you're comfortable with okay so I'm going to open it up that wide good now what I'm gonna do I'm just going to swing an arc from here and cut the line segment that cut the line segment uh, PQ now after I've done that then now I'm going to take it, ensure that the radius is maintained, that the compass doesn't shift, okay, or else you'll be in a little bit of trouble there. So I'm going to take my compass, place it at the point of intersection where the red arc intersects the line segment PQ, and I'm going to simply swing another arc, okay? So let me just pull this around a bit. So I'm going to swing an arc here that cut the original arc that I swung. And if you notice, my the lines that I'm drawing or the arcs that I'm swinging with my compass, they are in red. So this would suggest that these are construction lines. So these lines must be faded. In other words, please don't press down when you're using your compass, okay? Now, this is this is pretty easy from here, my friends. Uh, let me just pull this down a bit so we can see what's happening again. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to draw a line from the point Q and it's going to pass straight through uh, the point of intersection here, okay? So from the point Q, which is there, I'm going to draw a line straight through. If you notice, it's going through the intersection. Now, really, I, I don't know where this line is going to stop right now. So I'm going to pull it up there because we have some other pieces of information to deal with. Now, this is a 60 degree angle, my friends. That's how you construct a 60 degree angle. Now, if you notice, the next piece of information, they're asking us, QPR is equal to 45 degrees. So again, take very important note that the angle that they're asking us, where they're asking us to form the 45 degree angle is at the point P now, because P is in the middle, okay, of the, of the three letters. So I'm going to take my pair of compass and I'm going to place it at P to construct my 45 degree angle. Now, when constructing a 45 degree angle, um, by intuition, and you could always check out our lessons on geometry, uh, where I show you how to construct different angles, okay? When constructing a 45 degree angle, you must first construct a 90 degree, and then we are going to cut a 90 degree angle into two equal parts. So the term that we use for that is to bisect the angle, okay? So when you bisect a 90 degree angle meaning you cut it into equal parts then you would get a 45 degree angle hope that was useful now to construct a 90 degree angle my friends I'm going to place my compass at P since P is in the middle and then I'm going to let me just bring this around a bit around a bit 
I'm going to place it on the line segment PQ. And then I'm going to swing an arc, my friends, in that direction. Okay? Just swing an arc there. Now, to construct a 90, first, I must construct a 60. Sorry about that. Let me just pull this up a bit. I think I need to have a little bit more space to work with. Okay, that's good enough. Now, my friends, I'm going to take my compass, okay? And I'm going to place it at the, po at the point of intersection again, right there. And I am going to bring it up so that I can cut that angle right there. Now, that's a 60 degree angle, okay? Now, I need another 60 degree angle. So, I'm going to place it at that point of intersection there. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to place it right there. And I'm going to swing another I'm going to swing another arc, okay? So I'm going to swing another arc that cut that arc now, okay, my friends? Now, if you notice carefully what is happening, what I just did, oops, what I just did, guys, uh, I have from here to here is a 60 degree angle, and from here to here is another 60. So from this point here, okay, that where the red line, red arc intersects the line PQ, um, straight around to this point here, it's a it's a 120 degrees angle because 60 plus 60 is 120. Now I had to do that to draw my 90 degree angle because if you notice between this point here that my pointer is at now and this point that's a 60 degree angle. So when I cut 60 into two equal parts, I will get a 90 and let, and let I will get a 30 rather. So let me just let me just um, place my compass. Let me change the color just to distinguish a bit. All right, so I'm, I'm just simply going to pull up my compass now. Uh, I've already swung that arc already, so I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to intersect that arc now. So I'm placing it here, and I'm going to just simply bisect and intersect this arc. So where the red arc and the blue arc now intersect this point, this is a 90 degree angle, okay? So I am just going to simply take out my ruler, and I'm going to draw my line going straight through that point, okay? I'm, I'm going to use a yellow line, okay? Because I, I don't really need this line. I just need to establish it. If you notice, it's, it's, it's pretty much faded. So that would be a 90 degree angle. Now, my friends, if you notice, from the line segment PQ to the yellow line, that's 90. So basically, what I'll need to do now is to cut my 90 degree angle into two equal parts so that I can get a 45 degree angle. So let's place our point there. And I'm just simply going to open up my compass to a certain radius. And I am just going to swing an arc here now, my friends. Let's just swing this arc. So this blue arc here that I've just swung, okay? I'm going to cut that into two equal parts. So I'm going to place it here. I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to swing an arc out here. Okay? And I'm going to place it where the blue arc intersects the yellow line. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay? I'm going to swing an arc that intersects that arc. Okay? As simple as that. Now, basically, um, let's just pull out or let me just pull up, pull up my line again. So here, my friends, now my friends here, um, since where the two blue arcs intersect, I am now going to draw a line from the point P. So, oh, oops, uh, let me just change the color. Yeah, so I'm going to simply from the point P, I'm going to draw a straight line through the point of intersection of the two blue arcs where, I'm, where my pointer is at now. Uh, and I'm going to go straight and touch the original 60 degree angle line that I've drawn. Okay, now where both lines intersect, that's the point R. Okay, so let me just make a quick note. Let me just make a quick note. This point here is the point R. So there I have constructed my triangle P R Q. Okay, now in part two, if you should remember, let's just pull this down so we have the information. Let's just pull this down a little bit. Okay, good. Here's the information. Now, if you notice, um, this is what we have done. We have constructed the triangle, uh, P, R, Q. Now, if you notice, um, they ask us to measure and state the length of R, Q. So I'm just simply going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure this distance, R to Q. Now, my friends, if you should note carefully, um, my, my zero is at the point R here. And if you should count one, two, three, four, 
five six it's approximately six cm long okay so rq so i can simply say rq rq is equal to six centimeters okay and they gave us a pq to draw and pq we got eight cm okay and it's pretty much that easy feel free to ask a question if you're still not sure and i'll get back to you as soon as possible okay let me just shift this okay so see you in the next video bye bye